Hey, hey, and welcome to the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. This is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and more. In this movie, we are going to create a grid for a scrolling infographic. And so I've got a document here that's very tall, and the idea is... I'm working towards something people will consume on a mobile device and I want to divide it into about five screens and also give myself an idea of proportion. And a grid is the best way to do that. So I'm going to tap M on my keyboard to get the rectangle tool. It doesn't matter about the fill, by the way, or the stroke that you're using here. It's not desperately relevant. And I'm going to move to the centre of the artboard, like so, the Smart Guides, which you can toggle with Command-U or Control-U. They're showing me that I'm over the centre. I'm then going to hold down the Alt or the Option key and click and drag outwards. And what I'm establishing is basically where my information is going to go. I'm going to leave a border around the edges here. OK, so now I've done that. If I needed to change anything, I can, of course, move over any of the handles here to move things in or out. If you use the Alt or Option key as well, you can do that symmetrically. So once that's done, I'm going to divide this up to use as a grid. So up to the Object menu then, and down to the Path submenu, and then choose Split into Grid. And this dialog appears like so. It's going to turn on preview so we can see what happens. And I'm going to dial this up to five rows, like so. The idea being that the user would typically see the top area here on their phone and then a tantalizing glimpse of the information on the next screen just poking up around that line. It's an old trick and it's been used by newspapers for a very, very long time, but it still works. And then I'm going to dial in some columns. Now I often use 12, but just for a simpler view here, I'm going to dial this up to six. The reason I use 12, by the way, is because it's divisible easily by two, three and four, but six is just fine for this. And I'm going to add a gutter here of 10 points or pixels. I'm going to hold down the shift key and tap my up arrow while I'm focused on that field, which multiplies that by 10, so now I've got my gutters. If I hit OK, then my framework is established here, but what I need to do is turn it into guides. And the quickest way to do that is to hold down the command key or control on a Windows machine and tap 5. And that's it. It's created as guides. If you need to use the menu system, go to View, Guides, and you'll find Make Guides in there. What I also typically do, so I can show and hide them really, really easily and also lock them, is add them on their own layer. So if I call this layer here Guides, like so, you see I can lock that so I don't interfere with the guides if I want my other guides unlocked. And then I can just turn the visibility on and off. All that I need to do then is add a new layer to start drawing. And that's it. We are done for this movie. Don't forget to subscribe. Do reach out to me via Twitter or on my Facebook page. You'll find those details in just a moment. Please do spread the word. Keep on watching. And until next time, see ya.